Now we go to Fort Wayne, uh, which is uh, similar to Evansville. It's the, pretty much the big fish uh, in that pretty much that area. So Detroit's not too far away, but uh, uh, extreme northwest corner of Ohio, uh, this northeast corner of Indiana, and the kind of southern part of Michigan. Uh, Fort Wayne is the regional center. Uh, so once again, we kind of see that as a as a key uh, to understanding how they're kind of hanging on here in Fort Wayne, even though they've had massive deindustrialization. Here we see Fort Wayne, downtown Fort Wayne. Uh, we can see a kind of a mix of more historical, older looking skyscrapers and more modern uh, looking ones. But here in Fort Wayne, uh, so I think it's a good time to have no, not a single car or person on the street. Uh, we'll just use that as symbolism for uh, the heavy, heavy hit here uh, as the decline in U.S. automotive manufacturing left its toll. Um, so a supply network was scattered all throughout this area in northeastern Indiana that served uh, the United States automotive manufacturers who have, for the most part, uh, declined. Um, so that then, nonetheless, has definitely impacted this particular area. Uh, further, you know, there's about 5,000 jobs strictly from uh, that particular decline, just over uh, a four or five year period in the 2000s from uh, deindustrialization. Uh, so they had a huge loss, and, and about 10,000 uh, more jobs that were lost in manufacturing uh, over the course of the entire decade. So huge losses. Uh, but some of that has been offset by gains in healthcare and social services. And so once again, this is a regional center. This is definitely an area that serves a surrounding periphery. Uh, so we can think of this as very much a core part of a functional region it surrounds. Uh, so you're going to find television markets, newspapers, media companies, yada, yada, yada. But you also find a lot, a lot of, uh, of hospitals here, uh, particularly over on the uh, western side of Fort Wayne. You see a lot of hospitals that have been built uh, recently or are in the process of being built. So that's key. Uh, there's a lot of health care uh, that's kind of helping to offset a lot of the losses in manufacturing. And so what's happening here is decline in secondary sector being offset by gains in tertiary sector. More, uh, the bigger picture though is you are seeing a little bit of a decline in retail. Uh, and so less jobs, less economic activity, less retail jobs. And so you're starting to see uh, some things like abandoned strip malls uh, that you might see in per certain parts of the state and you're seeing it in Fort Wayne. Uh, areas in which there's just no more where Target or a Home Depot used to be in which because there's less economic activity, uh, there's less of it going on. But in the most part, we've got kind of a, a city, an area that's kind of just hanging in there, uh, very much a good example of stagnation. And with Fort Wayne being a rather large urban area, we can see, of course, it's going to have uh, higher birth rates. It's a little bit higher percentage of young people sprinkle in there, a little bit of an Amish population living in the outskirts, and that helps explain this population pyramid. But the big thing here, a lot, a lot like other cities in Indiana, is retaining the young people, retaining your best and your brightest. And so as those 15 and 19-year-olds, as they go off to college, will they stay there? Um, so that's something that the uh, IPFW has been really trying to focus in on by attracting and retaining uh, local talent.